two of your three uh, wards are nowhere to be seen. Interesting. Like, what do you mean? Because I was I wasn't sure about one of the three, but two of the three <laughs> just disappearing. <laughs> that is. That is roughly 33% more than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. Like that's, well, I mean, technically, uh, I, think, I think percentile. So you're hearing the, the battle go on. There's blaster <laughs> fire going on. It, the, the parking lot has gotten surprisingly dark, and they have, you hear noises beyond the cars that you cannot see them anymore. Lizzie uses her action instead of firing at people, she turns on that headpiece. And puts it on. There, there's nothing to be heard there at the moment. But I like where your head's at. Yeah, yeah. This is it's a good idea. Yeah. That head Clearly, somebody's thinking with more than just their trunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, NPC turn. So you got your one remaining. Uh, the guy Defector. that's left, is it the guy that was wearing the headpiece, or is it not one of him? Like It was the guy the two that different? you took the headpiece from. The guy that's left has the headpiece. Yeah. Or had it. Yeah. So I wasn't just 66% wrong. I was a 100. 100% wrong. I was yeah. completely, entirely turned around wrong. Okay. <laughs> yep. Um, that, it, it's important to know that, because uh, next time... <laughs> If there is a next time, because you're like half dead. I'm not even quarter dead. Come on. I can lose <laughs> at, least, at least another tentacle before. Agonizing wound. I just want to just keep repeating that phrase. Truncheon time leads to agonizing wound. Okay. Kuman, Kuman dated Lindsay long enough that agony is. Oh! What is that supposed to mean? Do you want to start this? Agony. Bring it. Agony is an old friend. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> this is not, you know, given the two options. <laughs> That's right. You better run forward. <laughs> Wait, here's another. How about it's another scenario where Lizzie doesn't get paid? <laughs> hey, it seems to be a running theme. That may or may not be in the notes. Business model ever. So um, model. the the last guy, you, the last defector that you had, uh, who wasn't wearing the earpiece, uh, takes aim just out of sight beyond the cars and yells, uh, "Die, imperial scum!" and charges off into the darkness firing and he's also out of sight now uh pc slot we're being fired at by the rebel alliance no 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 the other guys are being fired at by the rebel alliance see uh this is a double the, this is what they call a double double cross your defector just accused the attackers of being imperials but the attackers. Yeah. The good guy that we had left attacks Imperial Scum. Okay. And now I'm really confused because I thought we were delivering these Imperials to the Imperial Corporation and we were being attacked by rebels. But as it turns out... <laughs> they were spies. One of them was a spy. That's I'm the sorry. thing. You got to make your, your mysteries convoluted. See? Okay, I got it. At this point, I don't care. I'm... Uh, I'm just going to swing at the next guy in line and start taking down more people. I'm getting shot. Um, sides don't matter. Yep. It's us versus them. Your attackers are still mm -hmm. attacking you. Perfect. Just like I like it. Okay, so this is <laughs> another uh, average. Uh, but this is uh, Cal. He hasn't gone yet. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We're at the bottom oh, of the initiative. Oh, bottom. Was sorry. That for was action? Or was I was waiting for Lizzie action. My bad. She perceived that this isn't an accident. Right. Okay. My bad. I aim and fire at them. Is it still one or two difficulty? It's still just one. Uh, but you are going to add a black dice this time. 
It's kind of gotten noticeably darker around you. But that aim will give you the blue die. There, you go. there it is. Look at that blue die. Nice. Did you set up where your success and threat are always added, or are they yes. just the first time you fire the weapon? Oh, um, is it always the first time? I thought, I thought it was, it was the always. first time, but let, let I don't reread remember. it. I have it copy and pasted. Let me double. Yeah. Eight. It is the first check. So take away a threat and one success. So that should be. So you have two um, advantage then. Two and advantage and three rather than four success. So 11. Um, how do you want to spend your, uh, advantage? I'm not sure what two advantage would be good for. Am I not thinking of something? You can specify blue dice. You can take an extra free maneuver to get back in cover. Um, I'd like to, well... Could I, within a single maneuver, uh, jump over the car and go into cover where the one remaining guy is? Which one remaining guy? Uh, the one that was with us. Uh, he's the disappeared from view as well now. Oh, but sorry. you can then, you can leapfrog to see the next one. Like yeah, we'll do that. you can try and is follow there, him if you want. Cover. Is there cover still? Yeah, yeah you got cars around. Okay, then I do that and remain within cover. Okay. Um, so you uh, see two of your attackers take your shots um, as you're firing over the, the car, and, and they retreat into the darkness. And the, the person standing in front of Kuman doesn't look so hot. That's uh back up at the top of the initiative is a uh another PC slot. Anyone can go. May I? Absolutely. It's clobbering time the sequel. Yeah. I'm gonna Trenching time. Trenching time. Yeah. I, I mean, even at this point, I may not even be worrying about the trunching. I'm 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 wounded. I might be out for blood at at, at this point. Let me check my. Oh no, I'm still using the traction. That's that's much better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I don't have any blue dice this time. It's all you need. Oh wait, sorry, that was white paper. Not. <laughs> it's uh, like, oh, so you're chopping him in half? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not I correct. You said it was still trunchin time, man. No, no, you're right. It, it, it's trunchin time. Ooh, okay. Yeah, uh, not good. Let's go back to lightsaber yeah, time. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer lightsaber time at this point. Um, did you bring your lightsaber? I thought you said you left it no. behind. No. Yeah, no, I don't. I, I don't carry it. He yeah. doesn't bring That's... his uh, mixed business and pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Four sleeping across a parking lot is not obvious, but a lightsaber is a little too obvious. A little too obvious. I am technically in hiding. Gotcha. Um, um, very technically. How do you want to spend your advantage? I want to. I want to. Not die. Dice the next, yeah, I, I want to <laughs> blue dice the next person. All right. So the next PC slot gets a blue die. Um. Okay. Uh, it's in a PC slot. Your attackers are going. I can tell. They're rolling 800 dice. Yeah. Quit. Don't give him ideas. (laughs) 
Uh, you hear, we got what we want, fall back. Um, and they start receding into the shadows with some covering fire. Um, but you can tell kind of in the main direction that they're heading, but they are, uh, they are leaving. You can choose to, to chase them or not. Then it's well, like paycheck, you Yeah, I mean, obviously. Dirt bags. I've been shot. Obviously, I'm going to chase my attacker. Um, you work way differently than I do, Kumin. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you hire me. Yeah. A PC other than Kumin gets to go now. Like Which, way busy, but... Which way are they going? They're heading away from the entrance deeper into the parking lot. Which now has all its lights off. Okay. Mm. So somebody said they fired. We think these people attacking us are rebels or for Imperials. Sorry. A Im Imperials. A if Imperial. you go by what your peace loser man yelled before attacking them. Okay. So we think, do I know any like Imperial uh, radio channels like that they usually do spec ops chatter on? <laughs> No, you do not. It would be very good spec ops. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my ear to the ground. I can make a streetwise check for it. You can spend a uh, destiny token to have gotten an encrypted imperial frequency. But have that's I the not? only way that you could have, I, have, have a military grade. The GM is suggesting it. Refuse. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? Um, but what else are we going to use that on and still complete our mission and get paid? I could still get shot in the face. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> we might want to just, but they're you know, leaving. They're leaving. And, but I'm chasing them. Obviously. You don't have to. That's your choice, buddy. Um, is that not covered under the employee contract? <laughs> <laughs> Um, your job is to protect me and our assets. I, uh, I'm an asset. <laughs> is it? Is it your two assets running away with them though? Yeah. Yes. No. I, we and assume you should chase after the assets. I'm just saying this whole situation would be a lot less complicated if everybody shooting at us was incapacitated. <laughs> it would. I can't argue with that. Sound lot. Yeah, so um, I'm totally going to use my destiny token to remember that uh, my rebel friends have fed me a encrypted channel, right? And um, or a couple of them, maybe they've given me like a list that I can kind of flip through so I can find this because I don't have to chase after those guys right now, but we got to recover those guys because what's going to happen to those guys like terrible, horrible things. Maybe they're going to be cut up by lightsabers. Maybe it, 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 it's, it's entirely likely. If, if not by the Imperials and by Kuman. I right. got a blade. I mean, I, they're going to get cut. So you are you are listening to the channel now, presumably, right? I yeah. I, since I don't hear anything on this earpiece, right? Mm -hmm. I want I want to use my destiny token to make this earpiece useful. I stole it from that guy fair and square, and I want it to work for my advantage. Okay. Yep. So either I hear rebel chatter that gives me something, or I hear imperial chatter that's like, yes, we are taking them to latitude and longitude, exact coordinates, where they will be by exactly this number of guards, or tortured by this dude, or whatever it is that's going to happen to them. Like, I want... So the, the chatter that you hear over the imperial frequency is more along the lines of uh, the fallback orders, package to secure, secure the wounded, leave no trace. Um, we have what we came for. Everyone's accounted for. Everyone's okay. I just want to take a moment to point out that we are technically a neutral third party. Yep. If the, if the empire wanted to make this easy, they could have paid us uh to i mean they didn't have to shoot at us 
yep. technically, I you know, to help make your destiny token um, spend you a little bit more. Yes, uh, I think what you hear is. Um, Tell Madame Vale to go to phase two. Oh, that helps a lot. There you go. All okay, right. Yeah, because I want, I want ammunition. I want news I can use, not fall back. Everything's secure. We got the package. That tells me nothing. Yeah. Right. Um, and now, since I have all four dark tokens, I have to spend them. So I'm spending one. No, you don't. And walking out, uh, let me back up just a little bit. Kuman, you get a really cold chill feeling. And as you're watching, uh, as you're looking down the path of where you're gonna follow these people who shot you, um, there's a, a sense of overwhelming hatred and there's a familiar snap hiss sound as a red lightsaber is ignited and this skinny squeaky man steps out of the shadows with the as he raises the saber and he looks right at Kuman uh, and says I hear you've been looking for me. You Jedi always meddle, always meddling. I am here to ensure the Jedi stay, the Jedi ways stay extinct. I'm Rot Finna, a Sith to a fallen master. And I will have my revenge. And it's 11 o'clock, close enough. <laughs> okay. Good night, everyone. Fair enough. So we'll end there, and we can wrap up some of the clues I've made too vague to make sure that I haven't been too tired to not give you enough information. I haven't worked on my Mike Tyson squeaky voice. <laughs> for, uh, Is it because he has the tattoo that I accidentally gave him in a fit of panic? Yes. yes, yes. You gave him a Mike Tyson tattoo and a Mike Tyson voice squeaky lisp thing I don't remember the that I don't know voice. if ever will be performed by me. But I, I knew I should have kept his lightsaber. I knew it. Yeah, knew it. He knows I it, knew too. it too. We all knew it. Maybe I should have kept my lightsaber as well. No, now yeah. is not the time to go after this dude. You oh, definitely. but but <laughs> you're missing a lightsaber. You don't have your tentacle. Come on. I mean, giant you're missing a tentacle, monster. You don't <laughs> giant a lot monster. Of things. He does not find a Sith. So when we come back next week, you guys are have a little bit more pressing concern of a Sith who has declared war upon at least Kuman. I mean, I guess you guys could just leave and leave him there to fight him if you wanted to. Uh, no, we're going to take Kuman <laughs> back to my medical robot slash dentist. I got this. <laughs> I, I, I got this. No, you do not. You have, you're minus several things you need to have got this. <laughs> so you guys what? have, so you guys have seven days to kind of convince Kumin that an escape plan is more pertinent and what that yes. plan might be. Like Kumin, literally, you're the last Jedi. Like, for reals. The last Jedi that we know about. And you're not <laughs> gonna die in a lightsaber. You're not gonna bring a trunch into a lightsaber duel. No, missing I'm gonna, a tentacle. I'm gonna take his lightsaber. No, no you're not. Re regrow the tentacle. <laughs> And okay, but how do you get to take his lightsaber? Because this sounds an awful lot like you know the underpants gnome's plan. I've like got step I've one: got... steal underpants. Step two: question mark. Step three: profit. Like you can't just. <laughs> <laughs> I've got four. Uh, I'm gonna stop recording now. Thanks for joining us. You know the deal here. 
subscribe to stay tuned to our misadventures. If you enjoyed us, give us a like and hit that bell icon. And of course, keep us honest on the rules and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time on the Dicey Cantina. Bye.